Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my mega park. Now what I want to do in this episode is uh, I want to work on this area right here next to the entrance. And for, for first I had a di little dinosaur over here, but uh, I think I will make a Jurassic uh, area right over here. Um, there's two rides I really want to place here. That's a monster truck ride and a river rapids ride. Um, the first thing I will do is uh, move this uh, monorail out of the way a bit. Just so it will be easier for me to make the river rapids here. And probably later I'll extend this area and also add a nice uh, coaster here. Alright, let's first uh, move the monorail out of the way. By the way, this is also the reason I didn't uh, rotate my entrances and exits on this uh, on this monorail. Because uh, well, you, you cannot see them anyway because they're invisible. But if you rotate your entrance and exit like I usually do, and then uh, you actually uh, modify the ride somewhere, they will both uh, the entrance and exit will both disappear and you will have to rebuild them. And that's really annoying if they're uh, inside a building. And I plan on uh, modifying this monorail uh, quite a few times in the future. So it will be annoying to have to keep uh, rebuilding those. Alright, now we have some more space here. Now I can start working on the River Rapids ride. Um, what I will do here is uh, I will ex make a path here inwards. And then uh, somewhere over here it will lead into the area. Um, I will not already start the Jurassic area right here, because uh, then it will be weird for the guests here. On the left they will see a kiddie area, and then on the right they will see dinosaurs. And you don't really know then uh, which theme uh, this part is. Alright, um, I will now just start on the River Rapids ride. Now, something I want here at the end of the River Rapids ride is a big uh, splash section. So that's also why I changed it into the vertical drop roller coaster type. So then we can just uh, go apart like this. And make sure to have uh, enable a chain lift on this section so the boats will actually be able to get up. Alright, now we just need a tight curve here. Disable the support limits. Um, actually, we can just keep using this. And here we'll make a big splash. By the way, there are several uh, River Rapids rides that have a section like this. Um, the one I took inspiration from now is the uh, River Rapids ride in Legoland Billund. So yeah, uh, there's a elevator that just takes you up, and then after that, uh, there's a big drop with a long, uh, straight splash section. All right, I'm quite happy with how that looks. Now we just make an entrance here, an exit here, and yeah, this will be our. Uh, our station. So yeah, it will kind of look like one of those River Rapids rides, uh, which has a rotating uh, platform as the station. All right, uh, I will now just change it to the River Rapids ride type. Uh, so we just so we can spawn more boats. I think uh, 12, 13, 14 boats should be enough. It's the wild guess. And then we change it. Uh, actually, I will. Now we just keep it in the steeple chase mode, because we'll, we're gonna need to, we, uh, we're gonna have to make, do some uh, landscaping, and then it will be useful for me to see where the track is. All right, um, the next thing I want to do is uh, add some ramps at places where it uh, goes down or up. Um, so yeah, if we enable disable clearance checks uh, for the straight part here, I will just use uh, um, a splash boat uh, track. But um, here I want to have um, this track, but then going downwards. Um, so yeah, I don't want to use this because this uh, looks silly <laughs> if they slide off this. I want to have the the watery track. So what I will do here is. Uh, 
I will just copy this track piece over here. I will paste it here. I will rotate it. And then we'll build backwards like this. Um, if I would build this forward uh, here, it would merge every time and that would be really annoying to build. So what I do here is uh, I will just copy these track pieces and I will just paste them uh, on top of the track here. And since the paste the track is on top in the order, uh, it, it means it won't merge and it will they will just follow the original track. Um, just to make it a little bit easier for me to copy and paste, I will just change it to a different write type. That's oops, <laughs> I had the wrong track. Um, splash boats. There, the people chase. There, all right. And now I can just copy and paste the track pieces on top of this track. Alright, now since we have a splash section here, uh, we'll definitely want to have a path right next to it. Because else what's the fun in a splash section, of course. So, um, yeah, let's just make a path right next to it. And probably we can connect again to the main path uh, somewhere over here. Alright, um, well, I still have to make the lift structure for the river rapids, but something I want to build first is uh, the layout of the monster trucks, right? And I want it to interact with the river rapids in several places. Um, so yeah, let's first uh, start with the location of the station. Now I will add chain lift um, on the track, throughout most of the track. Um, I will actually use a different type just so we can have more uh, different elements. Let's go with the steeplechase, why not? Right, the reason I'm adding chain lift throughout the ride is just so we can control the speed of the monster trucks. I want it to look like sort of a safari ride and it will be nice if they go a little bit faster than what they normally would go at. And that also means I can make the ride a bit longer without the guests complaining that uh, they want to get off the ride.
Alright, I'm kind of happy with how this uh, lift structure looks like now. And now that this is done, we can uh, change the ride back to lift. And then uh, since it's a transport ride, guests will ride it uh, with, with, uh, without regarding its uh, stats. As long as it's free. And since we don't use any money in this scenario, uh, it means guests will always ride it if they happen to bump into the queue line. So yeah, um, the layout itself is now done. Um, I also kind of like the layout of the monster trucks ride. I still need to make a station for it. Um, here for the Rift Rapids ride, I might also work on the station a little bit more. Um, what's important now is to decorate the area. And since uh, both rides now uh, are in the Jurassic area, we probably need to add some dinosaurs. I also tried to give this area its own uh, distinct feel. Um, its own distinct look, and that's what I did with these ash um, footpaths. Alright, um, time to decorate this area. Alright, I'm really happy with the way this area looks now. Um, so yeah, we have this uh, big river rapids right here. I used this uh, monorail wall just to my, sort of make this uh, rotating uh, platform area look a little bit more uh, realistic. Uh, so yeah, from here they go down these, uh, these two drops here. Um, for these drops I also put... Uh, well, I just made sure that they uh, just look nice. Uh, so yeah, I used the splice boats track here, and right here at the beginning, I actually uh, uh, also used some uh, lift hill pieces for the splice boats track. Um, I just tried to look at the, make it look a little bit more convincing. Uh, I really like how smooth this uh, this looks now. Um, so yeah, I did make sure to put some dinosaurs along the track. Uh, I may add a little, a few more later. Um, I you see that this part is not really finished yet. I'll do that uh, right after I finish uh, talking about this. So yeah, I put some guard towers here. Uh, just, to, just to add to the Jurassic Park uh, team. May add a few more along the edge here. Uh, maybe not. Um, so yeah, and here's the lift uh, tower. So the boats go in here. And here they uh, go up vertically. You can actually see them uh, go up vertically here. And then they arrive here at the top, and then there's this big uh, drop with a splash uh, section here. I made sure the path goes right next to this section so the guests ca could get wet. Um, and here the boats return to the station again. And on top of that I made this uh, monster truck ride 
called it uh, T-Rex Safari. So yeah, uh, right from the simple station that I made here, the guests cross this bridge. Then they travel here right next to the splash. I made sure to make the bushes and trees not too high, just so uh, they would get a view of the splash section. And they cross the river rapids right again. They cross the path a few times. And then they just travel along the water here. Uh, I made some uh, bones here. I thought it would be cool to let the guests uh, drive uh, between those. Um, yeah, here they travel more along the water. Uh, here they cross the bridge again. Um, here I made a little section with some uh, T-Rexes and uh, some uh, bones scattered across along the the track. Um, here I made a volcano. I'll add some more flames here. I thought that was a cool thing to add, uh, just to add to the team. And here they return back to the station. Now I will just uh, touch up a few uh, more places, especially here along the edge. And th I think that will be uh, it for this episode. Alright, that was it for this episode. I think the park is starting to look nice and uh, I can't wait to add uh, more different nice areas to the park. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. Mm -hmm.